Hello again, my name's John and welcome to my latest video. This time, for those who have never had one, I'm going to make the classic bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich, otherwise known as a BLT, using the sandwich bread I made in my last video. And as I'm using my homemade bread, I'm adding a little tutorial on how to make your own butter at home. You can check out the video on how I made the bread on my channel. In the meantime, here's a little recap on how I made the sandwich loaf. Okay, for those who are interested on how to make butter, this is how you can do it at home. It is very easy to make and it's pretty quick, but you will need a food mixer. The benefits for making your own butter is it can work out much cheaper, as the price of butter in the UK at the moment is going through the roof. But I think the best reason is there are no additives, such as preservatives or food colouring. There's only two ingredients. Only one if you don't use salt. OK, I'll make a relatively small amount for demonstration purposes. The main ingredient is good quality pasteurised double or heavy cream. I'm adding 300 ml to the mixer, plus a quarter teaspoon of salt, but this is optional. All you do now is turn the mixer on and let the cream go through its various stages, from thickening up to whipped cream and then onto what I call the scrambled egg stage. And finally to where the liquid buttermilk separates from the fat. This bit happens pretty quickly as you'll see. You'll know when it's getting close when it's starting to pull away from the sides of the bowl as you can see in the video. From starting the mixer to the separation point takes approximately four and a half minutes. Right, we're about 30 seconds into the scrambled egg stage and it's about to separate. I have to be ready to slow the mixer down or it'll be all over my kitchen. I've done this so many times over the years I can actually hear when it's about to separate. And there it goes. This bit never fails to amaze me. And as a bonus, all the butter kindly gathers into the whisk. And there it is, no preservatives, no artificial colouring, just pure unadulterated butter. All I have to do now is to give it a wash, to remove all the buttermilk from the butter fat. It's important to do this step or the buttermilk will go rancid after a couple of days. You have to do this step using very cold or ice water. I always wear gloves for this as it helps a little to prevent the heat from your hands melting the butter. And that's about it. After rinsing just pat it dry, get it into the butter dish and store it the way you would normally treat your butter. It freezes very well too. It's pretty self-explanatory, just watch the rest of the procedure and I'll speak again at the end of the process. Well there you go. So out of that 300 ml of cream I've ended up with almost 7 ounces of best butter. Not bad. Well after that short but I hope you agree informative detour 
I can get back to the sandwich and proceed with buttering the bread. I like to prepare all the cold ingredients first and then get the sandwich completely ready before frying the bacon so it's still hot when it goes on. I'll start with prepping the lettuce and tomato. Always wash your salad ingredients, you never know what chemicals is on them. I'll start putting the sandwich together by adding the lettuce first, then the tomato. The seasonings I use are freshly ground pepper, a little sea salt, not too much because the bacon is pretty salty, and finally my wife loves a good splash of that well-known hot chilli sauce. Now it's time to start to fry the bacon. I'll be using my favourite piece of kitchenware, my well-seasoned Lodge 12-inch cast iron frying pan. OK, I just like to say, apart from making the butter, the video is mainly meant for anyone who doesn't know what a classic BLT is. I'm sure the more experienced cooks out there won't find this video particularly enlightening, but hopefully it's been enjoyable to watch. I'm using streaky bacon for this demonstration, but back bacon will do just as good. With streaky bacon, it's best not to over crisp it, as it carries on getting crispier when you take it out of the pan. Once it's cooked, place the rashers on a piece of kitchen towel to drain the excess fat. Then add it to the sandwich as shown in the video. Try to place the bacon in a crisscross pattern. It'll be easier to cut through and the filling won't fall out when you eat it. I'm adding a couple of more drops of that hot chilli sauce. So that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and for those who have never had a BLT before, I hope you try it. And have a go at making your own butter. It's fun and economical, especially if you can get the cream in larger bulk sizes. I find it much cheaper to buy a 4 litre bottle and that makes enough butter to last us about a month. And like I said earlier, it freezes great. Well, thanks again very much for watching. Please like, share, comment and maybe subscribe. Here are some of my other videos you may enjoy. So until the next time, it's bye for now.